Hey, Len, give me a hand. Let's do some ohms of resistance measurement on these two wires. We'll grab that first wire right there, and what do you think about this wire? It looks brand new. It does. It looks good. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. Look at that. Two tenths, that's not a lot. And then this one, what would you say about this one? I'd say this one's going to be a lot worse. Yeah, it's shot, isn't it? Let's go across it. Man, let's see that pull tight. Should be about two tenths. Yeah, it's going to be about the same. Well, that doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. That's why we want to measure voltage drop, not ohms of resistance, especially in heavy amp circuits. What's voltage drop? Well, you can see it right here. Actually took this circuit, it's 12 volts on there, and you can see it comes around. That 12 volts, that light should be burning with 12 volts, but it's only burning with six volts. Why is that? Well, you see that corrosion down there? That's eating up another six volts. Now, voltage drop can catch that because the first bulb dropped six volts, and the second, corrosion drops six volts, and that's why it's not burning bright. That could be a problem, Len. Got a starter circuit right here, which is really cool. You give me a hand, we'll switch over to volts. And what we can do is we can check voltage drop of this. So kind of weird, I'm gonna go on the positive, and then you're gonna go on the starter positive. So positive to positive, and then what I'm gonna do is turn it over. Watch the meter, we'll see what kind of voltage drop we have. Yeah, two tenths of a volt, that's not bad. You can't have more than five tenths on the whole circuit, two tenths on the ground side, three tenths on the positive. So I'll switch over to the negative side now and you go on the negative case and I'll go ahead and turn it over again so we can get those electrons flowing. And we got about a tenth there, so we're in good shape. Now the problem with that is, could cause voltage drops is things like this. Any kind of corrosion on the wire, we'll talk about in a minute, but right now we're talking about a burnt wire, that's heat. The length of the wire, well that matters. You put an amp in your trunk and wrap up 50 feet, that's a problem. That's a lot of resistance just in air. And then you ever seen this before, Len? <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad connection. Yeah, nobody around here did that, that's for sure. This is gonna be a big problem with resistance. Also, what about corrosion, Len? That causes resistance as well? Right, we find corrosion is the problem. You know, the elusive green wire that can sometimes indicate something's not working properly, a wire's gotten corroded, some water got in there. Well, we actually have a product that helps displace the moisture. It's our multi-purpose lube or our metal protector. It'll help displace or push the moisture out of there. Simply spray it on, wipe it off as best you can, and go back to work. Perfect, so all those connectors, anywhere on electrical circuit, you don't want any moisture, especially if you're working on a boat or saltwater environment, that's Correct. horrible. Just go to amsoil.com, check out the metal protector and all their other awesome products.